Hey everyone, all right, I wanted to quickly do an unboxing here. Uh, as you know, this is uh, the Asus uh, Vivo Tab Smart PC. This is actually not the RT version, but it's actually the <clears throat> Windows full version one. This, it is running the Atom processor like all the other ones. Uh, as you can see, it comes in a very small box, very little. As you can see, it's showing a little profile of the tablet here. We'll quickly take a look, uh, see how this is. And again, this is doesn't have the for a docking station. The keyboard is separately. You can uh, get a Bluetooth one. So let me go ahead and uh, open this up and then we'll take a quick look and see what this, uh, you know, see what um, this compares to the Asus, or sorry, the Acer W510 uh, and see what the difference is. This is kind of the same concept. It's kind of the small uh, tablet. Let's see, let's open this up here. This pretty much looks like um, the Asus right now, that's the RT version. As you can see, this is a 10.1 screen. As you can see also, uh, I can hold it very nicely uh, with my one hand here. So that's very nice, you can hold it like this. Uh, these, uh, to me, the 10.1 is more like if you want to do some reading and portable stuff, but I wouldn't use this personally for heavy duty uh, all day computing but it can do that not don't take it that I cannot do that but it sure can as you can see here it comes with the regular USB um, charger here let's take a look what's underneath the, the box here as you can see there you get the cord here and as you know this actually charges I believe with the U micro USB cable so that's good so it will have the charger you can pick up it doesn't have its own kind of proprietary uh, type charger we'll take a look at it and see but in here you get asus is actually giving you guys a little cleaning cloth if you guys are familiar with the asus transformer prime and i believe the the other one the 700t also they kind of give you this cleaning cloth in here you just get little brochures the user guide so Nothing very special in here. Warranty card. So we'll go ahead and put that aside. And we'll go ahead and unwrap this. Uh, take a quick look at it and see what this contains. And we'll compare it to the... It's, it's very light, I can tell you that. I believe it's basically, I think, about a pound and 30 ounces or somewhere around 1.3. But yeah, it's, it's very light. So this is very portable. So you can... Uh, kind of read your news and things like that on the go uh, as you can see it's uh, showing here it's got the it says uh, feather light uh, do experience the it's got the IPS uh, screen a megapixel camera so this has a little bit supposedly a better camera than all the other ones uh, Ace is kind of known for that on their tablets it's got the LED flash the sonic master uh, sound and it's got the battery life saying up to nine and a half hours so we'll we'll see how how good it does last and it comes with the nfc as you can see up front you'll see here it has a capacitive type uh windows key here i prefer the hardware type because um, usually if you're holding it like that you can accidentally um, bump into it and change it this there's a front facing camera there as you can see there and of course the logo there let's take a look on this side i'll flip it over because i think you get it because you see there's it's got like a little round edge there which is, is pretty nice uh having this little round edge here kind of gives you a nice uh so you can hold it either way without feeling too sharp so on this side uh there's the micro usb port here so uh that's where it's going to charge. I'll see how fast it can charge. Hopefully it charges fast. I like that than having a different cable. Uh, this should be the power on and off button here. Or actually, no, sorry, I take that back. That's your slot for your micro SD card. So that's pretty nice. Hopefully it fits in there flush. And I believe this is your micro HDMI. Uh, let me see if I can pull that out for you guys. It's a little tough there. But yeah, that's what it is there. So we'll connect this uh, to, you know, just a 20 inch monitor or something just to test it out. Um, 
this is not built too good here is uh giving it it just didn't go there and up in the top there's the power button here in the top as you can see there and as you come along the top it's all smooth there's a microphone here here in the corner here on the right side you see the jack for your headset here and on and off or sorry the volume up and down control and it looks to have another uh, vol or microphone here and as you come down the side here nothing on the bottom as you know this does not have for any docking so if you wanted to get like a dock for it uh this one does not have it this has like a it ships uh, some of them with the if you get the kit it's got like a special cover that becomes a like a holder and stuff to hold it uh this is like a chrome plastic on here that's got the asus name on there as you can see it's the back camera here they make a pixel with the led flash well, I'll be testing that. It's got a little chrome rim, rim, rim around it. And the NFC areas in this area right here, as you can see, it's got the sticker showing you the NFC section. Um, and I can see it's got one speaker uh, grill here. So I think that's the only thing. It's only got one on one side. So we'll see how loud it is. The, the Acer 5, W510 is pretty loud. The Samsung's are front-facing speakers, which is nice because it's got them on there pretty loud. And there you see is the sticker for the Atom processor and the Windows uh, Windows Tick uh, 8 sticker. Let's go ahead and I'll go ahead and power this up. If it takes too long... In the meantime, while it's powering up, let's uh, maybe I can compare it. This is the Acer uh, 510, the W510. Uh, we'll put this together so you can see. Is and you can see what uh, that actually the it's not that much bigger uh, as you can see here on the edges. Hopefully that shows up in the video. So the the Asus is just a tad wider as you can see here. And also, let me put this down like this so you guys can see. And uh, Asus is just uh, a little bit wider too. So it's not that much. But uh, overall, the thinness, it just being round like this, I think it makes tends to give you that impression that it's actually thinner. But I believe they're both about the same thickness there. As you can see, once you have it there, you can see um, they're about the same and we'll go ahead and put these together like this so you can see that yes that's pretty much uh, about the same so it just kind of gives you that illusion that it this one is you know thinner but it's basically about the same so that's uh showing you those together there uh, let's go ahead and hit next uh, I'll just hit next we'll set the license real quick um, I believe that Acer has a 400 nit uh, bright screen and this one I believe comes with uh, we'll just label it um, Asus uh, it comes with uh, I believe uh, 350 oh no sorry the Asus does have the 600 I believe on uh, right now let's let me connect it to the here um, Okay, so I'll oh, just use let's see custom, yes, turn on sharing automatically, yes. Those will leave off. Uh, yeah, turn that on and we'll go ahead and sign in without an account for now. We'll just create a local account and we'll put this uh, Asus Vivo tab. So we'll label that. So again, it's very, uh, for portability, I like the 10 inch uh, screen here. Uh, if you're gonna be carrying it around. Not that you can't work again with these. It's, you can do your work just fine. But uh, if you if I start doing some serious work, I like the 11.6 and above screens. If I may be sitting all day, you know, to do most of the work. But like I said, like I mentioned in one of my other videos, I did take this, the Acer W, 510 to the CES this year and this was my tablet on the show floor so I did take video with this one it did great I actually even uh, edited a couple of screen um, uh, cases with it so 
it worked very nice for that again this will do the same thing for that type of work uh, I'll let this boot up and then I'll continue the video and I'll get back to it I'll go ahead and I'll boot it up so let's say take a look again it's pretty much what you see now if you've seen a atom processor it's pretty much the same it's all uh, very responsive you can bounce them back and down you can rename whatever you want put a new name group but I'll do that in another video let's see is this is the home uh, desktop uh, files here we'll just take a look see how many what's the open free space on this computer we'll go to computer here uh, it, it, it's, it has uh, actually out of the box 34.1 gigabyte of free space out of 49 again this has a recovery uh, partition so uh, if there's a way that you can create your own uh, restore disk or image disk you could do that so that way you can free up some more space and reinstall everything and that way you get a little bit extra space you probably can gain an i'll say maybe uh another additional 10 gigabytes from this or or maybe around seven or eight so let's close that out um i won't do any updates right now just kind of as you can see that's with the actual vivo tab and this one comes with a separate keyboard the cover becomes like a stand as you can see there in the picture uh, let's take a look and see uh, what kind of wireless this has if it has actually let me see if it has GPS available on this okay it's kind of not responding very good on this as you can see there it is it's kind of it's actually a little bit slow I don't know if it's just loading up uh, yes it does it's got your NFC as you can see it's got GPS so this is nice uh, if there was any mapping program you could use this as a GPS system. I did a video on the Samsung T500T that also has a GPS. It's able to work so far with the maps they have out for the Windows side, but uh, we're still waiting for something that has more like the Google Maps that works a lot better. But if you needed to do any application that takes advantage of the GPS, uh, you'll be able to because this has a GPS on it, which I like. Uh, everything else uh, seems about the same it comes with their famous super note uh, well let's give, I'll give that a try real quick let me see if I have a I don't think I have a stylus here I'll just use my finger here we'll do a new note uh, white we hit OK um, this is a test So basically you get the same thing like you normally do on the Asus uh, tablets. So that's pretty good if you want to take quick notes. It seems to work pretty good. Um, doesn't seem like to have a lag as you can see. It does kind of keep up with everything. It just has very, very little lag, but it, it does keep up. So that's good. Um, you don't have to get a delay on it. And this one, I noticed it. Does, maybe there is a setting for. And the uh, Acer, when you touch this, it gives you a feedback vibration. This one, it doesn't. It does not have. But again, I'll have to check. Maybe it's, there's a setting for it under settings or something. But so far, it's not. Let me see if it comes with some kind of music or something. And uh, we can play some sound. Let me see if it has any music built already come with it. I want to test out the speaker, see how loud it is. We'll go ahead and see. Let me. Uh, power or raise up the volume to 100% here and let's see maybe we'll, we'll let's see if we can play something from here with the speaker being in the back if you're holding it like this it doesn't seem like you'll block it too much with your hand holding it like this as you can see when you're holding it it seems that you kind of muffle the sound but at the same time it will actually use your hand as to reflect the sound out so that's pretty good but it's not as good as um i think it was sound quality i think was a little bit better on the acer but again you know i'll keep the testing but but it is loud in a room like where there's maybe with not much noise you should be able to hear your music fine with no problem let's see if we can find a video uh before i do that we'll go let's see how bright the screen is right now i'll set almost like 
uh, almost at half a little but let's go all the way full screen that actually has a uh, actually looks very nice as you can see all the angles uh, almost at any angle as you can see you can see very clearly I can that's very nice uh, when you have that much viewing angle again this is the IPS screen and that's a uh, uh, right there full screen so I'll give you an idea what to expect um, with this uh, type of screen I'll leave it on the high one we'll see what if we can get a video going on here just to quickly look on there see what, it, what we have let's see if we get a preview here uh, it's a nice little unit so far if you, um, just like uh, all the other ones that ones actually had to buy let me see if they have any previews in here probably not um, let me see nope. um, here we go let's play this trailer here so I'll give you full screen it actually looks doesn't look bad at all it's um, very nice it looks clear all angles again where no matter where you're you're holding it at it's looking pretty good so that that's pretty nice uh, let's see if we have an, any other one um, the same one here uh, oops, uh, here we go. let me see this one see how this one plays on here they all seem to load up very fast again I like the way they have the layout here and you can see everything you have information on this side you tap the screen gives you the information more for the plane where it's at and then to full screen we'll go ahead and raise up the volume here to 100 percent and see what let me forward this a little bit okay just so you guys can take a look at you know just give you guys an idea So far, everything's playing pretty flawlessly, and it looks good as well. The, the voice is a little on the low side right there, but that's, you know, kind of not that loud, but... So if you have a movie that doesn't have high volume or a lot of speaking, it might be on the low side. As you can hear right now, yeah, that's kind of not too loud. And that's at 100%. So if you're in a, probably in a noise area, it might be a problem. But So that's a quick look at the Asus. Uh, this is the Asus Vivo tab. This is the smart tablet here. This is the full Windows 8 version. Um, it doesn't have the RT, like the there is RT version. It's pretty much it looks the same uh, if you look at it. You won't be able to almost kind of tell the difference. You can see it's everything scrolled or let's see if it goes up and down. Yeah. So we should be able to just pretty much the same about the same speed of everything. So if you guys are looking into if you guys were planning on getting this tablet, this gives you an idea what to what you can expect. So just thought you guys take a look at it. Um, thanks for watching.